When Dating a Social Media Star Goes Wrong by Derek Branch. I watched like five, five to 10 minutes of the first, of the, of the first five to 10 minutes of this 27 minute video. I'm not gonna watch the whole thing on, on, and I'm not gonna do the whole thing. I'm gonna watch the whole thing by myself, but for you guys, I'm only gonna clip certain parts of it. But just so you know, this is some tomfoolery drama. I'm an adult, but I'm really thinking like a teenage little kid type BS. What the hell is this? <laughs> this is some tomfoolery. <laughs> okay guys, so this girl's name is Sahai, and she is a fan of this guy on TikTok named Medusa's Judgment. And he's like known for like stating opinions, um, stuff that kind of, what I've heard, what I've heard guys, look, what I've heard was like pandering to women, okay? That's what, it, what I've seen on the streets. We're gonna call him MJ, cause I'm not gonna keep saying Medusa's Judgment. So it's 2022, right? She hits up MJ, sends him a DM. Hi, oh my God, I'm a big fan. I watch all your videos, da 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 da. And MJ actually responds back. And this connection jumps off quick. It's flirtatious. They're talking over the phone, texting, FaceTiming. And at this point, Sahai says he seemed like a nice guy. Now, within a couple of weeks of talking, MJ's like, you know what, girl? You might as well just come over to Philly. You know, we can go to museums, we can go sightseeing, whatever. I'll show you around the city. I don't get like, I, okay, so it might just be me and my inexperience of dating and talking to people with social media because I'm an introvert and I don't go outside, but I don't understand the whole, we've been talking on social media for a couple of months, so I'm just gonna go all the way over there to a different state, a, a different a effing state. Some people say, some people like travel like across the country to go see this, this person who I've never met in person, you know, I could be kidnapped. This this could be, did you know this, this this could be a trap? But you know, they famous. You know, they hot. So I gotta go over there. <laughs> I don't get that. I I not are some of y'all not worried about being smuggled? That's how people get kidnapped. Hell, people travel across like a, a different neighborhood doing this type of stuff and they get killed i don't think that we about to do anything that this man has talked about i this man low-key i think this man told me whatever i wanted to hear so i would show up they did go do small little things here and there but most of it was sitting in the house so they continued to talk and text like normal but all of a sudden he started saying stuff like yeah i hate philly i'm ready to leave i'm ready i'm ready to go somewhere else i'm tired of being here i've been here my whole life so he's like cool that's cool where do you want to go? He said, well, I'm thinking about going to Washington. I could be over there with you. Sahai so caught off guard like, come check out Washington. Come look at it. Look around, see if you like it. And actually save up some money before you come out here. Yeah. MJ heard this and was like, girl, don't tell me what to do. I'm a grown man. Like, if I want to do this, I'm going to do this. You can't tell me what to do. Da -da -da -da. Oh, oh. Sahai was like, oh. Oh, oh. You, you tell me you want to come over. To what Washington, my my state, and and I say you you say you know I could come over there. I'm thinking about moving over there. You know I can come over there and be with you. And I tell you like, hey, you should you know come down here, check it out, sightsee, maybe save up a little bit of money. I give you a really decent plan, and you tell me, don't tell me what to f and do. <laughs> you ain't got a plan. I just gave you a plan. Why are you angry at me for giving you a reasonable, sound plan for you to be able to move down here like you said? Why would you not, why would you not even do that? You said you wanted to come down here. Why? Well, I'm, the red flags are reddening. <laughs> the red flags are reddening. When we get to the point where I stopped at the video, because it's getting, because it's going to get better, I'm going to tell you everything I thought of as, 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 as before before I even start making them, I, I'm because this is because this is one because eventually you're gonna realize that this is one of those dudes that I don't even know if the story's real but if it's real you already know what kind of dude this is based off of his reactions and answers and that you shouldn't be talking to him play okay look hey you is a grown man so if that's what you want to do that's what you want to do. And then, guys, this man says he specifically 
wants to move to Bellingham, Washington, which is exactly where she is for college. What? Okay, I couldn't find a red sock, but I found this pink sock, so every time there's a red flag, we're just gonna wave it. Ow, I hit myself. <laughs> nice. So you are ready now. I know some people ain't gonna agree with me on this, but I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make it very clear. Flamin' Hot Doritos, Flamin' Hot Cheetos, Flamin' Hot any type of chips. They are disgusting, okay? I, 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 I know, I know some of y'all might have been a little triggered by that. They are disgusting, okay? Especially those effing, what, what do you call them, Takis? Whatever the hell those things are, they're disgusting, okay? I hate, I hate spicy food. Every time I've eaten it, it has always tasted like effing garbage. Some of y'all are some effing masochists. It's still gross. It still don't even taste good. I just ate it and it effing injured myself and it didn't even taste good. He says he wants to move to Bellingham, right? Not only that, not only that. MJ says, actually, what you should do is move to a two bedroom. Then I can just move in with you. Hey. Sahaya was like, what? Oh, oh, hell no, hell no. I just met you. It's not happening. Sure. MJ was like, that's cool. No. That's cool. Can you at least like suggest me like good areas for apartments so I yeah, know where to go? No, guys. Uh, Sahaya gave him three choices to choose from. And one of them included the building that she was fucking in. So now within three weeks, this man, MJ, is moving to Washington. Now, when I first heard this, and even then you heard this, we're all here like, Something is wrong here on a Greyhound with one suitcase. Supposedly, he sold all of the furniture and everything in that house, and this is all he had. Which, I don't gotta keep doing this, guys, but something is fucking wrong here. <laughs> now, guys, this Greyhound, right, it had multiple stops. This bus stops at Denver, right? And I guess it had a couple of hours before it would go out again. I've never heard that for a Greyhound, I guess. So MJ goes around sightseeing for a bit, comes back, and the bus is gone. He calls up Sahaya. He's like, oh my God, I missed my bus, and there's not going to be another one for like nine hours. Sahaya like, well, what you going to do? MJ's like, well, I was hoping that you would like buy me a hotel, and I can sit in that hotel <laughs> until the next bus. Sahaya like, what the hell? No, hell, no, hell. Fuck, this is, okay, we five minutes in. Already, this is some BS going on. This is some F-boy type stuff going on. Because what the hell? This is where I stopped the video. Because I, I can already see what's going on here. This, for a girl that's... She's smart enough not to let him move in with her. But not smart enough to not, you know, give her... Give him her location of where she lives. And let him live there with her. Because he didn't even bother to set up some type of events or plan anything. He just wanted to prove, I like that, you know, I just got to send a couple of DMs. I'll have her down here. Correct me if I'm, if I'm wrong about this, but I feel like some guys do that when they don't plan for anything. Because they just want to be able to brag and prove and boost their ego of, I can just get a girl down here whenever I want. <laughs> He seems to have some type of, like, like he doesn't really seem to do well with controlling his emotions. Cause the fact that she recommended a, a good, a good, a good decent plan of save up your money, common sense, save up your money before you come down here. And then he, his response is, "Don't tell me what to do." I can see now that he's irresponsible. <laughs> and so when I hear that. He came down there with only a suitcase and a backpack. That lets me know that this man didn't already didn't really have all that much. He must have been living with somebody. Or he could have sold it, but this is DC to New York. It's like a couple of hours drive. This ain't no effing five day drive cross country. This is a couple of hours. He could have shipped that stuff. Most likely you're gonna wanna keep that stuff that way you don't have to buy other new stuff all over again. But why are you telling me to come get you? You ain't got nobody else to come and get you. Nobody. You And to pay for a, a hotel room? 
That that's what he suggested. He said, "Can you get a hotel?" That's the first thing he wanted was a hotel room. You you got nobody else. Nobody, mom, friends, best friends, cousins, uh, a college roommate, somebody you're more acquainted with than the girl who you've been DMing on effing Instagram or TikTok to come and get you and pay for this hotel that you need. And also, where's your money at? Because this is a BS. And, I, and I'm glad she's not falling for this. Because for this. she said, hell no. <laughs> who you, we, we ain't together. I'm not your girlfriend, all right? I just came and visit. That's it. We've only spent like a couple, like two days in person together. Just a weekend or so. Why are you telling me to buy you a hotel? You ain't got a pretty card to put that down on? <laughs> All right, so from this point on, it's going to be new for me. It's going to be new for you. We're probably going to watch like the first 15 minutes or so another 10 minutes. So once that hits, I'm, I'm probably uh, you going to have to watch the rest of it because I'm not going to do the whole thing. I'm going to do that. I'm, I'm going to do that behind the scenes and watch it by myself. Oh, hell no. Hell like, no. you missed your bus. You knew what you was doing. You knew you should have been there. That's your problem. And guys, MJ just starts cussing her the hell out on some straight manipulator stuff. Like, cussing yeah. her out. I came out here for you. And, like, the least you can do is help me with a hotel. Da 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 da. Sahaya's so like, no, no, it's not happening. Especially when I already paid your first month of rent for your apartment. What? what? Wait, Sahaya. Sahaya, what are you doing? I feel like I'm watching a horror movie. I'm sorry. So I was right. He don't know how to control his emotions. Cause he just started cursing her out. And then when she and then when she said and then you paid his first month. Why are you paying his first month's rent? All you supposed to do is let him know how to how the, the link to the application or something, get him in touch with like the landlord or the or who's ever in charge of that that building. Why are so many people so desperate not to be alone that they're just giving their lives away like this? And their money! They're hard-earned money. And he's like, I'm here. I'm in Bellamy, Washington. Can you come pick me up from the Greyhound? And she picks him up. Oh, my God, Sahaya, right? So Why she picks him up, up, right? And she's you like, okay, look, I'm going to be cordial. And oh, my God, the whole place rings of just pee, right? Just, and I'm pretty sure that's cat. We know, we all know it's cat because it ain't like some human did that. It's a cat. That's cat. Someone had like five cats. You know what I'm saying? No boyfriend, whatever. Turns out it was a cat. The roommate had a cat and it was just peeing on everything in sight. So he asked Sahaya, hey, is it okay if I just like sometimes sleep at your house tonight or just... And Sahaya felt so bad that she told this man, yeah. No. Sahaya, you told, you told no. him, yeah. No, Sahaya, no. Why are... Wait, hold on. So they entered the apartment, his apartment that he put in the application for and there's cat piss and the roommates are, are dirty. So you say, um, sure, you can stay over my place. No, no. Talk with the rental manager. Tell them what's going on. And see if they have a spare room for him to stay in. Since he already has, since he's already a, a, a tenant. Why are we letting him in? No, take it up with the manager. What is this? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Send him to a hotel room or something. We don't. We ain't letting no dude, some still random dude who we barely know, who was switching up hella quick. Okay, this is stupid. I'm not. I'm not doing it anymore. All right. <laughs> Girl, wait, let's play. 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 This is gonna get worse. But play. Play. MJ took advantage of that. He was in her house almost every day. He was he was doing skits in her house for his TikTok. Supposedly he was wearing her clothes, which what the f You gotta go, okay? Go to your house. I don't want you wearing my clothes. I just don't wanna be a part of this. And this man had the balls to get fired. He starts throwing stuff in her house, punching stuff in her apartment, slamming doors, even got in her face like this, bro, and tried to like intimidate her just for making this boundary and telling him he cannot be in here all the time. I'm not, I, I, I want to give you the benefit of the doubt. I don't know, like, I don't know if the story is real or not because he's going off of like some type of TikTok or Instagram story about, I don't know, somebody. I don't know. But I'm just saying, this was so effing obvious. She has to be a, like early adult 20s. 
like super early. Cause eight to twelve. Cause somebody who's a little bit more older would definitely have seen this. I got too much self respect to have somebody curse me out and then try to ask me, "Can I stay with you?" <laughs> I got too much self respect for me to be entertaining this BS. I would have been hung up the phone and never talked to him again once he effing told me, don't tell me what to do. Fine. I'm not going to tell you what to do. I'm not going to tell you anything. I'm going to leave because you ain't about to disrespect me like that, trying to yell at me and trying to curse me out. You on your own. Bye. That's how you mitigate stress in your life and stay nice and youthful like me. You see this? You see? You see? You see all these nice little no that you see? Look, my, I got, my family has very good genes. <laughs> so that's the key, ladies. If you want to look, stay nice and youthful looking, don't tolerate no disrespect and drama, and just, you know, be like me and just spectate and watch it as it unfolds, and then make YouTube videos off of it. As simple as that. Very entertaining, very low stress, wonderful. Guys, you're welcome to do it too. <laughs> She's thinking that he's the guy that he's been portraying on the internet. And low-key, Sahaya wanted to go online and be like, hey, y'all, this man is not what y'all think, okay? So the next day, MJ comes to her door. His head's down. He starts moping. Oh, my life is so hard right now. Sahaya's like, okay, this is just like some sad kind of way to apologize. Okay. And see, Sahaya had a soft spot for this because she's like, I'm familiar with this. I used to do this and come with people with these bad apologies, even though I was the one that was wrong. I see a lot of good in him. So you know no. what? I'm going to let him continue to spend nights in here and do his videos, which no. is fucking insane. This is insane. This is insane. But, but I like it. I like your job. But this is insane. <laughs> Girl, why would you? So I, I I hear about people trashing other people's places, their apartments. Just real, like you busting their holes. I got to fix that. I got to talk to the, the rental property manager and say, hey, this is what happened. Please don't charge me extra. <laughs> Are you serious? And then you let him back in? Why? Okay, we can feel sorry for him if you want to, but you don't have to let him back in. Until like November where Sahaya and Sahaya gets this weird feeling like mm, something, something ain't right. Pause. Something ain't right. Hold on, pause. I'm going to call it already. The dude's bringing women into her apartment. I already know. I already know. He's going to say, oh yeah, girl. This is my apartment, you know, and this is my furniture, you know, this is my food in the fridge that I bought, you know, because this is what I'm, I'm a social media star. You see, I'm, I'm, I'm doing it, you know, you know, that car in the garage, you know, that's that's actually mine. <laughs> I don't understand how people can just take advantage of other people like that. Don't y'all want to actually have that stuff, if it, but it actually be yours. What's the point? To impress some women that you just not that you're not even gonna remember their name in like a couple of months? Like what's the point? It's dumb. It's stupid. We got five minutes left before I have to cut the video. <laughs> Play. She gets home and this man is pacing around her bedroom. He on the phone about something, we don't know. This man starts pacing around the entire complex on the phone, we don't know. He's over here ignoring Sahaya. Sahaya's like, look, I'm going to just let it go. Let him figure it out. And I'm going to talk to him later. So, guys, it gets to the end of the night, right? Sahaya has this feeling throughout the day. And she had this, like, idea, intuition, okay? And she's like, I'm about to go through his phone. Which, you know, why are we going through his phone? Are y'all boyfriend and girlfriend now? Yeah, are y'all together? That's what I'm thinking. Like, does she have feelings for this guy? Because this sounds like something a, a, desperate girl, a desperate girl that want a boyfriend would do. Like, just let some cute guy, even though he's terrible for you and shouldn't be in your life, let alone being able to speak with you into your life, into your home, and the next door neighbor and everything. Why, why are we going through his phone if you're not even together? This is some stupidity. They have to be, like, super young. If they're, like, above 25 and in their early 30s, mid or close to that, I'm going to be surprised about how dumb. This is stupid. Stupid. This is not mature at all. This is what the what what are we doing here? This is this is dumb. Fucking oh my god. I hope it's not raw. Raw! They hit me raw. No, they have oh no. so high. And as soon as she opens the phone, guys, she's seeing dating apps. Like not one, not two, not three, four, five different, six different dating apps. 
all types of notifications. Then she goes to his Instagram DMs. She opened the first one. I guess the situation was like, he's talking to a girl. Um, He's telling the girl, yeah, all these guys got like pictures of you, da 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 da. And MJ sends this girl a photo where she's just like open, her chest open, no underwear, just basically a, basically a nude, guys. So when Sahaya saw the word images, she was like, okay, bet. We about to go over to his photos. And oh my God. Sahaya opened it and just started to tear up. Guys, I'm telling you, there was just dozens and dozens of nudes from girls. Like, and it was interesting because some of the pictures had the girl's face in it and some of them didn't. So you can tell that it was like some kind of amateur, something, something that somebody was sent to their boyfriend type stuff that wasn't supposed to get everywhere. And these were like all very young women. This is like some immature high school b BS. I already knew they were sleeping together as soon as she let them move in. Why bother? Why bother? You knew he has a temper problem. You know he's immature. You know he's irresponsible. You know he's not financially stable. You know he ain't no good. Why are you letting him move in? Bro. This is so easily, so, so many situations people find themselves in that are just like this. And I'm like, this was so avoidable. Why did you continue to entertain this? Why? Why are you crying? You're leaving out details because we already know that we already know the details. You're effing them. You're, you're, da you're da dating them. Well, you think you're dating them, but he's like, she's just a side piece, all right? She's just the girl that got that 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 I live with that I like to hook up with every once in a while. That's what you are. I don't even know why you even bothered with this dude. <laughs> this is so dumb. Why are people so desperate to just have a girlfriend and boyfriend and then not actually want to have a girlfriend and boyfriend? And that's what I'm gonna tell him, I'm gonna confront him. So the next night comes, he's sitting on the edge of her bed. She's like, hey, MJ, I wanna talk to you about something. Yeah, I talked. He's like, yeah, what's up? Sahaya's like, so I went through your phone. MJ cuts her off, you went through my phone? And now he's gonna get angry. She's like, yeah. This man get up, start pacing the room, he's shaking. She's like, yeah, I went through your phone and I saw everything, the dating apps, the da da da, all the stuff, right? She's like, what's up with that? And this man could not give like one logical explanation for all of this stuff she's seen. So this man is sitting at the edge of the bed with his face in hand. He's just crying. Guys, he's just crying. Balls. So Sahaya's like, look, whatever you thought we had before is over with now. We don't have none of that. We don't got me and you, we got nothing. <laughs> So you need to leave my apartment. I'm not saying we not cool, like apartment. friends or whatever. We can be cordial, but no, like what no. we got mm, is gone. Just, it's real. No, leave. I don't like you as a person. It's just over. He keeps crying and then eventually he leaves. And see, this had me thinking, guys, right? Remember when he missed the bus? There Did he no really bus. miss the bus? Yeah, there right? Was no bus. I'm thinking this. Maybe he bought a Greyhound ticket to one city. Then he went out, met some women. I'm thinking he meeting other women, right? No had one locked no. in. And then he tried to call up Sahaya and be like, hey, come pay for this hotel with this other girl. See, this is what I'm yeah. thinking. Then, right, then he, after he was done, he go pull up on Sahaya next. See, I think there's some heavy finesse going on here, y'all. About two weeks go by, she's not texting him as much. You know, as much? You still, I'm surprised you're still texting him, but okay. So now it's like towards the end of November and Sahaya and her roommates have like a group meeting or whatever, house meeting. Her roommates say, yo, we got to start locking the doors because when we leave out, we see MJ. He's giving us dirty looks. It's just weird. It's just strange. He's weirding us out. And what if he try to walk in our house when we're not here? We, we all got to lock the doors. So they all agree. Pause. So now okay. So it's 15 minutes. I'm going to cut it there. That There's like half. There's like a. There's like halfway through the video. So if you want to see the rest of it, go ahead and go to uh, Derek Branch channel. Um, the link's going to be in the description. But don't be doing this dumb stuff. Uh, please, think with your head. Like, what the head? Like, all oh, this could have very easily been avoided. This was, this, was, this was not necessary. This situation could have very easily been avoided and never happened. 